Hello and welcome to another episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today we are in a Boomdorf area right here in Bedford View exploring a modern and exquisite family home. This home comprises of four bedrooms and five bathrooms and is on private property for 19 million 500,000 rand. So what I'd like you to do is come with me as we explore this home and talk about some of its most incredible features. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are approaching the front door of this incredible entry hall. And the first thing that catches your eye is just there is a wall of glass all around you. Not just behind me, but in front of me. It's a double volume ceiling. And we've got this curved staircase wrapping around to the first floor of this home. And that is where the majority of the bedrooms are located. Behind me, you can see this stunning feature wall, again, working so well with all the glass in the home. Walking forward, again, you're greeted by a incredible sight, and that is most of the living areas in the home. You've got your dining room and kitchen that immediately grab your eye, but there are two rooms standing right here that we need to talk about first. To my left is your built-in theater room, and to my right is one of my favorite areas in every home, and that is the wine cellar, which has got some awesome artwork in as well. But yeah, let's start at the theater. Let's paint a picture of what having a movie night in a home this incredible feels like. As you can see here, we've got eight seats, all of them reclinable. You've got your projector behind me, massive projector, speakers all in the ceilings, beautiful lighting elements, and not only the bulkhead lighting that you see illuminating, but also this starry sky that stretches across the ceiling. But then let's talk about the chairs, because the chairs obviously have to come with a drinks holder, but these drinks holders have got a light, they open and close, as well as cool your drinks so that you know no matter how hot and tense the action gets in the TV in front of you, your drink is always gonna stay icy cold. Now, the speakers not only are in the ceiling, but you'll also see one in the wall there and two subwoofers. So if you're a big gamer, this room is 100% for you. Walls are padded so that you know when these doors close, the sound in this room isn't going to infiltrate outside into the rest of the home. I think it is easily the best cinema we've yet had on the Home Shopper Show. And with any cinema does come drinks. And what drink is better than the world's oldest one and that is wine. Welcome to this home's wine cellar. We've got glass walls with pegs being the holders for all of your wine and right here see a table put right in the middle and the reason for this is easy grab your favorite bottle of wine place it down get two glasses and have a tasting and behind me again a beautiful beautiful feature wall and that is a theme that you'll see carries over almost throughout the home it's each and every room in this home having its very own unique selling point a unique design feature and we're going to show you more of those right now and here we find ourselves in the first of the three living areas in this home, and that is your dining room area. Again, a massive table stretch, stretching across this area because there is so much space, but not to the point where it feels hollow. This home is perfectly proportioned for all the furniture within it. Above this gigantic dining room table, we have a chandelier hanging as a centerpiece, and behind me, a wall of curtains that hides sliding doors, and behind that, a beautiful pool area, as well as deck with a jacuzzi, and I promise you we're gonna be talking about that in a little bit. And then no house this exquisite is complete without a fireplace subtly built into this wall, which also acts as a feature wall. Stunning, stunning dark tiles that offset the lighter gray that does make up the tiles in the rest of the home. 
But for me, one of the most beautiful kitchens has to be this right here. So we've got a center island that acts like a Swiss army knife of this kitchen. With this bit being a bar slash breakfast nook, with this section over here being your prep section, and even over here being some seating areas. This seating area underneath has drawers for that extra storage if you do need it. And then talking about drawers and storage space, we've got cupboards running the section of this wall, all of them beautifully clad in this gloss white. And if you press, they all open up silently and then close quite silently as well. Then talking about high-end things in this kitchen, and trust me, it is chock full of it. We've got these Gaganau appliances, two ovens, and then a convection oven in the center with a warming drawer just underneath. It's not often you see appliances that have just so much flair to them. Take a look at that, all those lights going right off. And then my favorite and possibly the coolest feature I've ever, ever seen in the kitchen is you'll see these four gas burners don't have a burner top. All of them are built right into the marble, this marble being imported. You've got plenty of cupboard space underneath. And then we've also got an extractor that rises up from that marble itself. When we talk about very cool features in the kitchen, often we're talking about the ones that stand out the most. And like this uh, gas burner top or this extractor, it all works out really great. But something that I like is the ease of use functions, just like this plug point that rises up out of the marble. You'll see another one over there. We've got a prep sink over here. So if you're big into cooking and you're big into entertainment, two things that stand out the most for that is one, your stove tops face your entertainment, your dining room area, so you can whip up a meal while talking to your guests. And then you've got your prep sink right here. So you don't need to move out of view of your guests when you're entertaining. Then when you wake up in the morning, you want to make yourself a cup of coffee, a sandwich, some toast. You've got this extra section right here that you can place your coffee machine and look out onto your front side of the house. Beautiful greenery greeting you, blue skies, not a bad way to wake up. But where do you store the milk? Well, you've got an inbuilt fridge as well as inbuilt wine cellar. Both of them again clad with the same design elements that you saw in those cupboards, looking very clean and fitting this kitchen, this modern kitchen, very, very well. Behind me, there is where you're gonna be keeping all the appliances you wanna keep out of sight. So you've got the scullery area right here with all the more storage sections, places for you to put all of your appliances, another wine cellar, over counter, as well as under counter storage, your double sink windows letting in lots of light, but also letting you enjoy those garden aspects. And then a door that goes out onto your garage. So from your garage, you've got access to your house, which we love because of those rainy days. And now leaving the kitchen, and dining room behind, we find ourselves in the living room. That fireplace coming through the wall, so it also does serve as this living room area. And over here, you can see a beautiful place for you to stack your wood. Again, being another design feature because of how well that raw wood contrasts with the rest of the wall. Over here, plenty of space for you to sit down and enjoy TV with friends and family. And obviously, this section right here, dedicated for your entertainment. So all the plug points are found there above us. We've got not only inbuilt uh, speaker systems for your home theater system, but also so all the vents for your aircon. Now this whole home is a smart home. It's controlled with pads in the walls. I'll point them out as we pass them again. But that does sum up this living area. It's spacious, it's airy, it's got stackable sliding doors that look out onto your garden and your pool, as well as your veranda area. But also one of my favorite features is it links up straight to the bar. Let's take a look. And here we are in the bar area, lots to talk about here. The first feature that I'd like to talk about is this stunning, stunning marble. You've got your prep sink, under counter storage, spaces for your ice machine and any other fridges that you might need. And then over counter, two display cabinets on either side of this counter for all your glasses and then an open display cabinet for all your liquor, which I think any bar does need. Love, 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 love the marble in this home. Beautiful veins in it, offsetting again the white tiles and it does match those feature walls with their dark gray. Then on this side you can see mounted TV and then this stunning LED lighting framing a space for you to sit down and be just a little bit more comfortable if you don't want to sit at the bar. Now this home doesn't come with the furniture but the owner is open to offers if you'd like to take it fully kitted out with everything you see in it. So if you'd like to make an offer 19.5 million without the furniture I think you can make a really good offer with all this furniture in it. A couple of other killer features in the bar is a bulkhead ceiling again built in speakers you've got access to your aircon vents and then this sliding door that leads out onto a deck with sun lounges as well as a jacuzzi but we're going to leave that for later because let's wrap up what's under roof and what's left off is you've got your guest bathroom over here let's talk about that and then let's show you the first bedroom in this house let's go your guest bathroom's got a walk-in shower floating toilet single vanity with its standalone basin and then 
a stunning feature wall framing up one half of the bathroom. Your mirror also is very sizable for a guest bathroom and there's plenty of space here for it to service the pool area as well, which is a really cool feature that they've thought about. And now we can finally look at the first bedroom and this is the guest bedroom located downstairs just there by the bar and the TV area. As you can see, this is a very, very sizable room, bulkhead ceiling, aircon venting coming straight down above the bed. You've got tons of space for a bed of any size, built-in cupboard space, which also I really like. Windows built into the wall, letting in a lot of outside air, making the room feel airy, spacious, and quite warm. And again, every single bedroom in this home does come with its very own ensuite bathroom. So let's take a look at the bathroom now. Your bathroom comes with a double vanity, both of them freestanding basins. Just underneath that is some storage. You've got a walk-in shower that is very sizable for a guest bathroom. And then just to the left there is your floating toilet, a window just above it, all of it very private and very, very up class. Coming up the staircase, you find yourself on the first level of this home and again, the breathtaking qualities really don't stop just because you're on the level above. Just behind me, you can see this wall of glass looking down onto your koi fish pond. Above me again, bulkhead ceilings, inbuilt LED lighting, speakers, the works for an area that really is just a pajama lounge really. You can sit down here, you can enjoy a book, you can enjoy looking out onto the grounds. Behind me though, is where the real work happens. This here is your gym. Two double doors opening outwards onto a fully equipped gym. You can see all the equipment here. This gym does have access to a balcony that spans the length of the house. So that sliding door leads you out to there. And then again, inbuilt entertainment section here with the TV right there, all the plug points you need. Throw on your training video and then go to town with views out of three separate windows of your pool area and your beautiful green grassy front yard. Now, coming this way, however, you do find a little bit more. It's a hallway that's wide enough to be an office, almost in its entirety. On the right-hand side here, we've got all the desks that you might need to sit down and do some work. As you can see, the shelving containing all the files. We've got a desk right here, but it's, it's so spacious. I can walk zigzags through this. We've got two massive windows, again, looking out onto the front yard. Your three different carports, as well as a parkade area there for any other cars to park. And over here is a small kitchen away from your kitchen. Beautiful ports, countertops, under counter storage. More than one coffee machine in a home, which I always appreciate. Windows opening outwards, letting in that fresh air and a sink right here as well as a cabinet. So if you do want a snack, if you're in one of your bedrooms or you're working really hard, you don't need to run down that stunning glass staircase, which I think if you've worked hard enough for a home like this, you might definitely want to be running down that staircase just to appreciate your hard work, but I love it. Super thoughtful and it fits in this home just so well. But we've got two bedrooms located on this side. So office there, first bedroom's right over there, second bedroom's in this one, and then the master suite is behind me. You can see that by the length over this door. So let's talk about these two bedrooms and then it's a master suite, so don't go anywhere. So bedroom one's got beautiful built-in backboard, all of the down lighting as well as air conditioning you could ever need. I love that they've included so many sunlights in these bedrooms. So looking up, you get so much light streaming down into the room. Both bedroom one and two have got access to that balcony through sliding glass doors. And both bedroom one and two have their very own walk-in closets. Now bedroom one's walk-in closet links all the way through to a stunning bathroom. Bedroom two, slightly, slightly different. Whereas the closet section or your walk-in closet section at least is a separate door, but just as spacious. Beautiful, soft, closed closets. So much space in both bedrooms for as big a bed, always a smaller bed, always big as an office as you need. Both bedroom one and two have their own freestanding bathtub, stunning walk-in shower, as well as your single vanity there with all the undercounter storage you might need. Both of them also have so much light streaming through the windows, making them feel spacious, making them feel open, making them feel airy. Bedroom two, their backboard, slightly different. Again, built in, but this time lots of raw wood, lots of natural colors. Again, lots of down lighting and LED space, but I love the bedrooms and don't forget this whole house fully automated.
And here we are coming through that stunning door in a master bedroom that really does scream incredible. We've got this wedge shaped bulkhead cut out with that LED lighting framing it. Again, the inbuilt speakers, again the aircon, and again the massive space that doesn't feel overdone. It doesn't feel empty. It doesn't feel too open. It doesn't feel cold. Actually, it feels very warm and very tranquil. And I think it's because of the great use of neutral colors throughout. As you can see, the chair there, the massive mirror, huge bed with that inbuilt backboard and these incredible incredible lighting elements right here you can see down as well as inside of here another chair and behind that windows looking out onto that open airy wonderful yard now this room as well does have access to that balcony you saw me on earlier that stretches the length of it so much space there for you to sit down recline and relax in the sunshine but so much to talk about in this bedroom really the first being this walk-in closet we're gonna have to go take a look out of that so now walking into this walk-in closet, there's a couple of things you'll see, but the favorite for me is at least the lighting elements. You've got a stunning chandelier sitting in the middle of the room, but also you've got a full-on glass cabinetry on one side of the wall. Now this glass cabinetry comes with lighting on everything. So if you've got those Louboutins you want to show off, this is the home you want to do it in. You can see the shoes being showcased. You can see the suits being showcased. I love it. It does look cool and again, lets you just show off all your hard work. But that isn't only cupboard space in this walk-in closet. You've got another two walls full on with cupboards and then a place for you to sit down, get ready and relax with a mirror right in front of it. Now, just off to the right of your walk-in closet is your master suite and we are going to take a look at that right now. And here we are in your master ensuite bathroom and again beautiful beautiful bathroom it feels like you're in a spa sitting into this bathroom again you've got that wedge shape cut out you've got all this led lighting above you but then you've got this massive bath and above it a stunning skylight that lets in that natural light and it makes such a difference being in a bathroom with natural light so i do love that they've included that here then you've got your faucet coming out of the ground pouring that water into this bathtub but if you don't want a bath no problem this wall of glass right here well this is your shower you're going to be opening up right over here. You're going to be walking in and you're going to be enjoying not one, but two shower heads. One on the left, one on the right. You've also got a handheld shower head right there. A difference of flooring. And this is a full-on steam shower. So going in there, you can get enjoy the benefits of a steam shower as well. Over here, two separate vanities with two freestanding basins. Your very own mirrors. And these mirrors, unless I am mistaken, are powered and there we go like i did say you've got some lighting in there so if you are getting ready you can make sure you look spick and span i love it and then privately off in the corner right of here is your toilet so i like that that's tucked away in private but this is a stunning bathroom absolutely incredible love everything about it specifically a steam shower i think that's one of the coolest features to have in a home but that does sum it up for all the incredible features in this home and what i do think we're going to do now is let's take a quick walk downstairs let's go take a look around that garden and tell you how you can become the next owner of this 19.5 million in home right here in the heart of Bedford View. and what better place to end off than outside on this beautiful sunny south african day and you find yourself out on this section here that comes with pretty much everything you could ever expect when it comes to entertainment and outdoors. You've got your built-in briar prep sink, all the storage as well as tip and yaki grill if you need it, space for furniture, space for tables, space for entertainment. And when your entertainment wants to relax, space for chairs that are far, far more relaxing and more inclined for you to sit down and lounge about in. But if you want to enjoy it even more, take a look at this jacuzzi starting off right here. Oh, I do love myself a jacuzzi. Then on my right hand side, you've got your pool right over there, as well as a sun and lounging deck. And then if you want to take a dip off in something fresher, you've got a pool right here with an inbuilt cover as well as LED strips. And that's surrounded by an incredible, incredible garden, green, lush, and ready to be occupied by family. So if you'd like to be the next owner of this home, what I'd like you to do is contact Michael Pumper, schedule a viewing as soon as possible, because I don't think this house is going to be on the market for much longer. 
But if you're looking for something bigger, smaller, or anywhere in between, what I'd like you to do is go to privateproperty.co.za. This is a website that has every single listing across every single home within South Africa. So don't hesitate, find your next home now on privateproperty.co.za. But from myself, Chad Viveros, from everybody that makes the home shoppers possible, and as well as from all of the people at home, thank you so much for tuning in. We'll see you every Monday and Friday at 8 p.m. Thank you, and goodbye.